Hello, hello, hello. Solutions to problem 153. A Betatron. I suggest you watch lecture 13 of 802. It's all there. Today is Tuesday, September 13, 2022 for me. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, probably later for you. That depends on where you live. The changing magnetic field changes the magnetic flux through an open surface bounded by the electron orbital path. Due to Faraday's law, this will induce an EMF around the va vacuum tube, a non-zero integral of E dot L, the E field of which will accelerate the electrons. Let's now look more closely to the diagram. I hope you can see this diagram. It was <laughs> the very best I could do. The magnetic field you see are indicated with little crosses which is into the paper. On the left you see an electron moving clockwise, you see its velocity and you see the magnetic force towards the center. And then on the right you see an electron moving in counterclockwise direction and now you see that the force is radially outwards. The diagram is looking down from above. Electrons moving in the vacuum are held in their circular orbits by a magnetic force, F equals Q, which is the charge of the electron, which is negative, times V cross B. V is the velocity, which is a vector, and B is also a vector, it's a magnetic field, and it is the cross product of V cross B. If the electrons were moving counterclockwise, this force would be directed outwards and would not hold the electrons in orbit. Again, remember, the charge of the electrons is negative. However, clockwise moving electrons will feel an inward magnetic force. So now we'll get to the answer of question A. To accelerate the clockwise moving electrons to higher speeds, we need a counterclockwise EMF since the negative charged particles accelerate in their direction opposite to the electric field. Faraday's law tells us that increasing the magnetic field into the paper in our diagram will induce such a counterclockwise EMF. So that's the answer to question A. Now question B. Due to 60 Hz AC, AC is alternating current, the magnetic field will change sinusoidally in time. Let us assume it starts from zero and increases into the page. During the first quarter cycle, the B field will have the right direction to accelerate the electrons to higher speeds. But starting with the second quarter cycle, the B field magnitude will be decreasing. The field direction will still confine clockwise moving electrons, but the induced EMF will now be clockwise and will therefore slow the electrons down. Thus, acceleration is only possible during one quarter cycle, which is one two hundred forties of a second. 
if this is new physics for ye, for you, watch my lecture 13. That's important. It is part of first year college physics.